The Lecture Monkey Manifesto, Part 1. When I look back on college, I have a lot of fond memories, but one thing I'll never forget is the stress of cramming before exams. I tried to take notes during lectures, but quickly found that they were hard to follow and never really complete. Now my kids have the same problem, and I discovered note-taking hasn't really changed since the Middle Ages. That's why I created the Lecture Monkey Automatic Note Taker, a mobile and web social platform for automatically capturing and sharing lecture notes. Lecture Monkey combines automatic lecture capture, peer augmentation, sharing and review, enabling students to help each other learn better, improve grades, and lower stress. I find this painting to be an eye-opener. Take a look at the note taker in this university lecture from the 1350s. Note taking really hasn't changed in 650 years. On the bright side, I'd be willing to bet the scribe was well taken care of come finals. It took only another 600 years until the Cornell note-taking method was developed in the 1950s, and it's still widely used today. It's a youthful methodology, but of course, methodology doesn't ensure quality. The reason is that taking notes is inherently hard. The best notes are a summary of important points and insights from class, but when listening, how do you know what's important? This uncertainty leads many students to fall into the mindless transcription trap, which is actually detrimental to learning. Note-taking helps students learn in two ways, through encoding and external storage. Encoding is the way our brain assimilates and internalizes lecture information, while external storage provides a record of lecture content for later review. It's not that note-taking technology hasn't advanced. For example, many students have replaced pen and paper with laptops, but note-taking is just still as hard. Interestingly, note-taking by laptop is less useful than notes taken by pen and paper, not only because of the distraction of games, but students with laptops tend to just mindlessly transcribe. That's a shame, since lecture notes are just as important as they've always been. Without notes, 30 minutes after class, everybody has forgotten half the important points, and two weeks later they remember only 20%, essentially forgetting everything. Important but old-fashioned, it's time to rejuvenate note-taking and bring it into the 21st century. A partial solution is lecture capture. Students just love lecture recordings. The only complaint is that not enough lectures are recorded. That's not surprising since about 100 million lecture hours are given annually by colleges around the world. 35 million hours in the U.S. alone, of which only a small fraction are recorded. So for most lectures, the only record is incomplete and sometimes incorrect student notes. 100 million hours of valuable content go up in smoke every year. This monumental loss of content is a major cause of stress for 250 million students worldwide, especially before exams. Wouldn't the ability to review those lectures benefit everyone, students and staff alike? So why is the community just letting all this content disappear? Just imagine how learning would change if everyone knew that at the end of class they would have a recording available, not just audio, but audio boards and presentation. Add student notes as a natural part of the flow of the recording, mix in sharing among classmates, and you have a recipe to radically improve the way students learn. The evolution of the lecture note is finally here, 650 years in the making. By modernizing note-taking, LectureMonkey will fundamentally enhance the way students learn, no matter what the learning environment. We are calling on students and teachers alike to join us and experience note-taking the way it should be. You can find LectureMonkey on the web at www.lecturemonkey.com and in the App Store. Thanks.